Hi and welcome to our UEN tutorial on using Photoshop Elements. In this, in, in this instance uh, we're going to do a little tutorial on a special tool called Photo Merge that's found in versions 6 and 7 of Photoshop Elements. Many of us have taken the family portrait and the, the results are as follows. Three individuals in your family are looking at the camera and they're smiling and one person's looking away or looking down or not smiling. We've had this happen to us each probably a million times and most of the time that picture is quickly discarded and we take another one to see if we can get the perfect shot. But as you know, those of you who have young children, it's a little difficult to get any shots that work. So sometimes we just have to be a little creative and merge pictures together rather than getting the one perfect shot. So in this instance we've got my family and we've got my daughter who's looking in the wrong direction. Rather than trying to take another picture, let's just see if we can find a different picture where she's smiling, like this one. So what I'm going to do with these two pictures is I'm going to merge the one face of my daughter where she's smiling onto the picture where she's not smiling. There used to be a lot of different complicated ways to do this. Photoshop Elements 6 and 7 released a version, uh, a tool within those versions called Photo Merge, which basically will do a quick swap of the faces. Let's see how this works. To get started I'm going to select both of the images and rather than being in the full edit mode I'm going to switch over to the guided edit mode. That's where we find Photo Merge. And You can see within Photo Merge I've got an option called the group shot. That's the one I need. I'll select that one. Now Photoshop Elements is going to take a moment and evaluate the two pictures so that it can assess quickly um, which version of the picture I want to use as my source image. That's the image that I'm going to be drawing from and then my final image will be the one that I apply the new face to. A couple things to remember as you're doing um, the photo merge. This really only works if you have two pictures that are very similar as far as the camera angle and the depth of field. What I mean when I say that is you don't want to have pictures where you've got one um, subject that's really zoomed out and another subject that has um, a lot of magnification. Conversely, you don't want to use pictures where one picture's a portrait setting and the other one's a landscape. But in this instance, we've got both pictures where the two uh, family pictures are basically the same. So you can see I've got in my source image now the picture where my daughter is smiling. I'm going to come down to my photo bin and grab the picture where the rest of the family is smiling and move it into the final um, position. The next step then is to move the face from the source image over to the final image. This is done if you look over on the right hand side of our screen using the pencil tool. So I'm going to come down and grab that pencil tool and I'm just going to color over slightly the face on the picture of my daughter where she's smiling. And I know it happened really quickly but if you, if you didn't catch that I will undo so you can see look at what happens when we use the pencil tool it immediately pulled the face off of the source image and moved it into the final image. I'm going to zoom in on that just slightly so you can see it just a little bit better but look at what a great job that did pulling the face from the source image into the final image. There's a few other tools that you can use if you need to fine-tune your selection. There's an eraser tool if you accidentally got a little bit too much uh, maybe hair or you got a little a little angle problem that you needed to fix you could use the eraser tool to deselect some of the face but it, this is just a great tool and an easy way for you to fix your family photos thanks for watching everyone